Back at the South Boston Boys School, where I first learned to play. Couldn't tell right field from little old left field, but they had me anyway. Got on base just once in three years, hitting an up in the process, and a sack fly out to center field or something. I was flawless. And I was becoming a creature that none of my friends from those days understand. Stuffing my sister's old bra in a white cotton button-down shirt with the sleeves pulled down over my hands, hiding the lines that I drew in the mirror. My sister said, honey, you throw like a girl. Like the backstop my parents kept in their backyard where my father walked toward me, muttered these words, drag your feet. Toward the base, leave your hands above the plate, drop the bat, let it roll, you'll be leaving home. And my sister was a Yankee until she moved away from home. And I didn't give two halves of one shit about baseball until she overdosed. You know, my parents, they ask me how I'm doing, and I don't want to lie. So I dithered to them about the Red Sox bullpen instead of saying I want to die. It's like being 14 around bodies that strained against bodies condensed in nonsensical images. I played back on replay, reviewing the calls, like when I saw the spinners in 2006. I asked my friend Greg whether he'd ever thought about maybe like I don't know, being a girl. And when he told me no, I knew I was alone. I would draw in the mirror and mutter these words. You're on third, the score is tied. Signals made and pitcher winds. As I square, catcher sees. You're coming home to me.